I got way too much You're watching to Simulated Sessions. My name is Maggie and I'm here with Kage. How are you doing? I'm doing good, thank you. How are you good? doing? Well, thank you. A bit rainy outside, but it's not yeah. too bad. <laughs> <laughs> so you just recently released H7. Can yeah. you tell us a bit about that? Well, um, H7 is something I started like uh, 2013. Mm. Um, it really... I was thinking of a bunch of cool names <laughs> to, yeah. come, to, come, like, to come up with, but I couldn't find anything. But... I started off with Hennessy 7. Okay. But, and then it, um, it kind of got like, people started listening to like my music and they started saying, yo, this Hennessy 7 is kind of, it's kind of crazy. Yeah. So then I just shortened it to H7 and then they just, <laughs> people just continued. Yeah. yeah. Just went with that. If you started in 2013, you would have been like, how old back then? like 15 16 15 that's crazy yeah because your whole thing is obviously bringing soul music back into it so yeah. at 15 years old that's pretty <laughs> mental because you're kind of spot on with the old school so yeah, yeah. trying to bring all that back yeah no i used to because back then i uh in my music classes uh we started uh, focusing heavy on like soul music it was a uh, part of my uh, course and the two genres we had to focus on was heavy rock and soul mm -hmm. so we went through a bunch of old soul songs and I just thought that, you know, soul was such a beautiful genre. It's such a shame that it, you know, went out the way it did. And uh, yeah, I just felt like maybe I should try to bring it back somehow. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. I really, yeah. really did enjoy it. Thank Are you, you working on some new stuff at the moment or? Yeah, uh, I, got a, I got a bunch of projects I'm working on right now with, um, with like my go-to producer, uh, Genoa. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, He's yeah. He's he's a he's a crazy he's a crazy producer. He um, is he based here in the UK or you were saying yeah. most of the people you work with are online as well. Yeah, most of them are like um, I met them online um, through my one song called Soul Provider. Mm -hmm. So uh, after that, a lot of people just uh, send me messages and ask to collab. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I just got lucky to work with some great producers, mm -hmm. and uh, Jonah was one of them. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, he, he produced that beat and it just blew up the way it did. Yeah. So yeah, I'm working on a project with him. Awesome, nice. Yeah. And how do you feel, like, what is it like for you to work with people online that you've actually never met before? Like, is it quite easy, do you think, or it's quite difficult? I think it's, uh, it's quite easy because mm -hmm. it's usually just a very simple process of they send me a beat, I do something on it and then I send it back and they give me feedback and on what they want me to change or what they, you know, what they like and all. So mm -hmm. what I find more difficult right now is working with someone like in a room. Oh, really? So yeah, I'm trying to get used to that because I'm just, I'm just so used to getting a beat writing yeah. and then just giving yeah, it back. So, yeah. but you yeah, know, it was really easy getting mm -hmm. along with people like that. Yeah. Oh, good. And you also started, I guess, is it like a record label? Or what yeah, would you call right it? now it's like, at the moment it's a collective, it's mm -hmm. just a small little group mm -hmm. that one day I hope uh, mm -hmm. I could turn it to a record label. Mm -hmm. It's called Four Dreams. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically the whole point around it is just, uh, just protect, like protecting your dreams, mm -hmm. you know? And uh, we just, we're going through like, we're trying to go through our like model that's all about the soul. So mm -hmm. like everyone in Four Dreams, if you listen to all their work, even the producers and the artists, you'll just you'll just feel that you know they have that they have that uh, soul in them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. who did you listen to when you were younger? Then at fifteen, what kind of soul artists were you listening to? Well, at fifteen, I was I, I had to listen to like of course Al Green mm -hmm. and all them. But it's it's very strange how I uh, got into like rap and soul because yeah. uh, at a very young age I started I was listening more into like boy bands and all that oh, stuff really? it was <laughs> so amazing. strange because like, that's all my mom had back then in uh, Rwanda yeah. so uh -huh. yeah it was Westlife Backstreet Boys and all that and she only had like one Tupac CD yeah and she only played like two songs uh -huh. what were they which were um Changes? No. One of them was definitely changes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I yeah. can't remember the second one. Mm -hmm. But yeah, <laughs> then uh, at then around it started. I would say when I was like six, mm -hmm. I started listening to T Pain. T Pain okay. moved to Akon to mm -hmm. Snoop Dogg, and then it mm -hmm. just it yeah. 
progress that's, that's, right. and that's quite funny to go from boy bands <laughs> it's an interesting rap, story it? to tell yeah. <laughs> yeah so people just listen to your music now and just think how did that even that even happen it's yeah they, they they do they 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 always like compare me with like a lot of people and mm -hmm. when i do tell them that story they say well i don't hear yeah. less life in your in music <laughs> at all not, yeah, no, that's like, probably not the vibe you're looking for anyways to be fair no <laughs> Um, yeah. And then, so how did you start? Like, what made you get into it in the first place? Um, well, back, like, I guess, grade three, me and my friend were, were well, we were very lazy and we just didn't want to work <laughs> a desk job. And we were just like, oh, we need to, we need to do something. Mm -hmm. And we thought music was a great way. Mm -hmm. And then at the age of 15, when I started producing and, you know, started writing, I actually fell in love with making music and it was more than just getting away from a desk job yeah. and now it's you know something else yeah definitely yeah. oh it's amazing i do like i love your music i think it's amazing that you want thank to bring you. like soul music back and i definitely you know i feel it feel thank it in you. it yeah well thank you so much for popping through thank you very much look for forward to me. hearing more stuff from you my name is maggie you're watching stimulated sessions but if i took you out holy moly got that thing for me 